What? I'm talking about personal things. Don't you feel personal me? Personal things. <laughs> I'm talking about personal things. Personal company things. Not personal things. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not talking about that with you. You're talking about personal company things. Personal company things. That ain't for you, too. I don't chew my cabbage twice. <laughs> Ernest T. Quit filming me. <laughs> Quit. This is the show before the show. The, the before show. <laughs> the before show. Yeah. Where are we at? Mm. We're, we're in Amanda's place. We're at, we're at Amanda's place. <laughs> yeah. Where's that pile of meat you just cooked me? Look at that. Look at my couch. <laughs> Look at one of my couches. What in the... What the... What the... <laughs> what the what? shell? <laughs> it's quite a sight here. Are you drinking afternoon wine? Uh, no, uh, no. No. <laughs> no, look at look at that uh um back behind you what Carter put on there. I let him put stickers on the <laughs> on the wall. Yeah, on the wall. <laughs> and he paired them up though. All right, so let me show you the the uh this is Amanda's house and I'm going to show you you guys aren't going to believe this. <laughs> this is the way it is right here. All the time. No screen door. No. Door open. All year long. Randy, show the back door. It's a seven, the door came with the house when they built the house. It's <clears> that that right there is from the monsters trying to get in at night. <laughs> That's why I leave the door open. <laughs> they don't have, I say door open. Hey, Mandy, do you got Hanks that live here? <laughs> only me. <laughs> only, only you. Only me. Look here, and then out here, I built this stick for a while back. I was going to put a roof over it, but. Hey, sure. you was going to put concrete where it'll stand up. Yeah. And I reckon it's going to fall. It's probably done sunk four inches. I haven't been able to be back and put a footer underneath it. Hey, try What's to up, walk Phil? down the steps. See how that works out Poor for Phil. You. I got Phil. He was a homeless dog at a job site. He was. I brought home and I told Amanda, you cannot keep him. <laughs> 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 and he's still here. <laughs> I said, you cannot keep him. Look at him. Look at me. Oh, he's nine Phil. years old. He, that was nine years ago. I think he's in. And there's the dogwoods. Mando, what is all that white stuff on the ground down there? Okay, let me show you something. Oh, man, here we go. I thought it was dogwood blossoms. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay, so Seth bought me one of these. We named him Herm and bought me this for Christmas, okay? That's Herm, number one. Herm has been murdered. He's been murdered. He was shredded oh. by George. <laughs> Where's George at? He's, he's, Herm is spread out. Herm. That's oh. Herm's guts down there. Oh. Don't look. Poor Herm. Look, look, Randy, look. I'm going to say, don't look. Hey, don't look. <laughs> this is a don't look. Oh, that's where you're headed, this big is, boy. Well, this is Herm 2.0, I guess, or Herm 2. <laughs> but Seth, this just came in the mail yesterday. Seth, as soon as I sent him this picture, um... Because George had chewed him up. Oh, look at <laughs> look him. Look at him. So, Seth ordered me another one, and it came in yesterday's mail. Amazon. So, but somebody's going to have, I'm going to have to try to yeah, pick you, up Herm. You know what? I know that's going to lay there for the next six months. <laughs> and it's going to blow through that fence, and it's going to be collected over there in the weeds. It ain't going nowhere. It's no. It's mashed down into that ground. <laughs> it's, yeah. Now, here's yep. all my, I like all, I like wind chimes a lot. So, that's all my wind chimes. That's cool. Yes. Yeah, so you got them, don't you? Oh, I got a Oh, look at that one with the pop caps. Soda. Beer. No, man, these are beer caps. Yep. That's a solar light right there. Oh, your wind chimes. I didn't know she had beer caps on them. Yeah, wind chimes. It's a, it's wind chimes. Yeah, all of it is. Oh, my God, it's so hot out here. It is here. getting warm, man. Oh, gosh. Nice. And then yeah. her hot, here she's got her hot tub. And it's over here, but it's kind of like fizzled out. It's, <laughs> let's see. Hey, it's at 104. It's ready right to go. In, right over inside. It's uh, ready to go. In there somewhere. It might take a minute or two, but it's ready to go. All right, we're good. This is the show before the show. We're going to do a questionnaire show? today. Oh, let me show you. I haven't showed you Oh, yet. no, I've got to get my shirt off here. I mean, it's getting hot. It is hot yes. out here. Are we going to do the show here? Well, I was going to do it here, but you said we need to go back to the shop. No, I just have to go back to the shop to upload it. We can do the show right here. Yeah, we're just videoing. Hey, yeah. Shut her down and we'll get shut Oh, up. and I just want to show the dogwood yeah. real quick. This is the dogwood that I bought at um, Lowe's. How tall was it when you bought it? Oh, God. It was, uh, I don't know, about two foot. 
Really? How long ago? Uh, two years ago. Wow. It's grown a lot. It's gorgeous. It's pretty, ain't it? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You can tell that's uh, um, store-bought. You can tell. You can tell. That's why I wanted to make I a point. Let me scoot it up here. You can tell. See that? Yeah. You can tell that, that is a store-bought okay, tree. Okay, I want to ask one thing. What? What's that blue thing running in that screen in that window and a sheet over there? <laughs> let, let, let's show this side of the house. <laughs> What's going on um, there, man? I remember I put that window in uh, and I, I never trimmed it. You never trimmed it out. Um, mm. I never asked uh, yeah. about it. <laughs> What's, um, that, what's that cord going in there? Oh, that's Ethernet. That's, isn't that's, it? that's Ethernet. That's to his computer. Um, <laughs> so it's... instead of going through the floor and everything. Oh, look here. Did you do that? Did you chew up Herm? Did you chew that? Look. He, he knows. He, he south, knows. He knows. That's George. Chew up Herm. George chews up everything I have. Oh, oh my god, boy. he's got to get groomed, he's but oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the show before the show. We're getting yes. ready to come back, and we have got a Q and A now, day. It's hot out here. You're not going to want to sit out in the sun. Oh, time, I'm not man. sitting out here. You're going to get burnt. Oh, I'm not sitting out here. I got to have some shade. Where are you going to sit? Well, let's go find let's a place. You yeah, know, let's go find a place. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be right back. Front porch. No, but I don't know. Just hold on. Oh, God, it's stuck. Yeah, there we go. It goes that way. Okay, that should be, yeah. Okay. Is that pointed right? Uh, go sit back down. Let me see you. You can see the chair. Well, I can see the chair, but I want to see what you look like in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> let me okay. see. That Good looks... day, everyone. This is, hey, let's see, uh, Morristown News. Oh, there's my peacock. I got that at Food City. <laughs> Okay, hold on. What about this peacock coming over here? All right, I'm coming. All right. Food okay. City. Food that is City. Bird. Yeah, it is. See, that's that's the sound I made in the in the um. Oh, it is. Thunderdome. Yeah, and everybody talked about that yesterday too. Um, can I start off with saying something? Um, I feel very. Can short. I stop you? <laughs> no. Anyway, number one, I got this shirt at Ross, and it's a 1X, and buddy, I should have got a 2X. I don't like what to say. I mean, I'm struggling here. It's like, mm. okay. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, it's like the struggle. But, oh, here comes UPS. They sure enough. It sure is. Ah. Oh, we don't want George them. Hold on. Hang on. Uh, well, he's probably outside. He's probably outside tomorrow. Hey! Hello. I don't know where he's at, but I'm sure he'll find you. This guy's nice. I said him yesterday. George always tries to get a hold of his leg and everything. We'll start it right after this. Okay. You filming him? Well, I think it's good everybody knows. Yeah, oh this my god. How, <laughs> this is how it is every day. Now I don't know where George and Phil are right now because they are always What's he got, man? Go get his stuff. Oh well, he's got no, he'll bring it to me. Like he'll just walk. He'll right bring up it here. to me. Yeah. I saw him yesterday. George. He's probably across the rail. We can. He's wanting in there. Oh, I know he does. I need how much stuff there. did you get, man? You know what you got what you have coming I have on? No idea. I have no idea what I have coming. I ain't got no idea. George. You're a mess. But anyway, the, the, he was here yesterday, and Carter was here. I had to watch my grandson yesterday. I had to leave. Oh, here comes Phil. Now that here he comes. Where's Phil? He's coming. There he is. They've messed out. <laughs> oh, they were, they were way up there in the woods. Watch. He's a mess. Aww. Oh, <laughs> they going to get petted on. <laughs> Oh, George. Now they're going to get him down the road. George, he's so ridiculous. You know, well, I make... asked my daughter last night about Kayla's brother, and I cannot remember that she, I forgot to ask her. I sit there and try, I tried and tried and tried to figure out who it was, and I 
Who would be one of the other guys? That, it wouldn't be a Ryan, would it? There is a Ryan, but he... He his, wouldn't come here, would no, he? No, his sister's name is not Kayla. Gosh, I can't figure out how it, who it is. Remember what Kayla... What does he look like? Oh, God. He's your age. Well, well, I don't know. How old are you? 28. 20, well, he's about that age. Yeah, he's about that age. 25-ish, something like that. I can't remember what his name is, but he comes out here on this route, too. Nick... Nick, that's it! Nick Gardner. It's Nick, that's it. I knew it. What's your name? Thomas. Thomas. Thomas Nick. Okay, good, good. So, well, this is Thomas, my UPS guy. You're he, kidding. He just said his no, name. No, I'm just saying he just said it. But anyway, we've been trying to figure out, because I asked him yesterday. I couldn't remember Kayla. Do you remember Kayla that used to come here that was Lindsay's friend? You're I asking me her. or them? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, her brother uh, runs a route out here, too, so... But anyway, this is Thomas, a UPS guy that gets harassed by, look at the dogs. They're, <laughs> they're just like, what is he They're doing? thinking they've got some food. Now that is food. One. That I, is. Yeah, I believe that too. You know what, Thomas? That will go right in here. Okay. That That's for Ace. Oh, it goes in here? Yeah, I got two. Hang on here. One's for Ace and one's for them. We don't Thank even. You. Yep. Man, you're working this guy down, aren't you? <laughs> it's awful. I advise him I'd never come Hey, you want to go in and do the floors too while you're at it? Good My that. goodness. <laughs> Golly! Awesome. Yep, that's all of them. Good deal. Thank you. You're welcome. Y'all have a good day. You too. Thanks. What a hoot. And then George feel aggravated and all. All right, man, to get on it. We got to get going. I'm ready. Put it on there. We've given enough people for life skills here. Exactly. Okay. Come on. Oh, you're going in? I got to chop some of this down. All right, come on, Phil. Come on, George. You coming? You need me to sign for something? I do. I don't know which Oh, I wonder what it is. Okay. I'm going to read over these things. Ah, I'll sit down and this thing will go off. Good Here we go. Good. I'm going to let that hang. Oh, that's Jason's. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready now. All right. Don't let anybody know where you live, Amanda. <laughs> Don't let anybody know where Look, I live. Look, all the authorities. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow, there are a ton are of a comments. said there are 12 pages. Wow, I don't know if we'll get through these. I'm going to really try to whip through them. Do you think we should whip through them or just take our time? I think we're going to take our time. We are to do, and I'm going to, and I'm going to whittle down. They're not going to see the, the whole thing that we just showed. We'll have to whittle some of that down. That's a lot. Okay. Do, <laughs> we just. You always tell me, oh, when I say they're, this is boring, boring, boring. Well, I think they're well, going to like to see where you live and yeah. what's going on well, here. Well, I'm not going to whittle all of it out. So nobody lives. Like, nobody lives like this. Nobody. Nobody lives like I do. You, I mean, you have. You're hey, let me just show you. Just, can I show you something? He's got to show you All right, something. I got to tell you. The, I got to show you the whole deal. Let's see if it's still working. Is it recording? It's seven minutes. We're seven minutes in. That's oh, no, not that bad. Ain't bad. That ain't all right. Bad. So, all right. This is her door. <laughs> Everything's a mess. And as you can see, look, I'm gonna put my hand right inside the house, right? <laughs> and this door stays like this. This is an old, old door, isn't it? Yeah. So it's an old door. Got chicken wire so the dogs won't go through it. But. That's open. Now, it's usually open all the time. Back, way back years ago, mm -hmm. when the furnace went out in the house, yeah. and I took a wood stove that I took from Brothers Cove, and it was real, uh, like, a, like a, a collector's item for me, because it was in my mom and dad's house that I built for them in Muppet Cottage up on the top of a mountain. So I took the wood stove, and you see that coming out of her house? Yeah. That's a trash can. <laughs> Coming out of the roof of her house. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So what happened was, when we put a wood stove right inside that window, right there, Yeah. we put a wood stove in there, and I didn't have a... a Re uh, not a receiver, a... Uh, yeah, kind of a receiver, yeah, for the wood stove, for the pipe to go through the roof. Right. And I didn't have one, and we couldn't afford one. We could not afford one. I mean, we couldn't afford, but we had to have heat in the house. So what I did is I looked around, I was standing here... And I looked outside and I thought, I gotta have a piece of metal, something to go through the roof so the so the stovepipe could go through the middle of it. And she had a metal trash can here. And I, I cut did. a I cut a hole in the bottom and the top put the lid. And I cut a hole in the roof in the sheetrock and the rafters and everything and shoved that thing around there, mm -hmm. put shingles around it, tarred it sure up, did. and shoved the stovepipe through it. Yeah. And that's the receiver for the well, pipe. Well, it was an insulated something, like a double something or something. The pipe was double, but it's, yeah. it wasn't insulated, and it needed distance yeah. for fire rating. Yeah. 
and that was perfect. It just so we got a trash can thrown through the roof. Exactly, and let me tell you something. And it's always going to be so. I'm not. I'm not getting rid of it. <laughs> it is galvanized. It'll be there forever. Exactly. Yeah. So okay. All right. Question. This is this. Lord, I can't believe I don't know we, what, we barely sat down. I don't know what you're going to edit or anything. We got to get going. People are bored, man. Okay. Here we go. All right. DJ. That's the name. So I read off the name of the people. You mm -hmm. can read some. I can read some. Okay. But we'll take turns. So. Hope you enjoy all the questions and comments that come in. We just thought we'd take a day once a week and we would go through a lot of the questions and comments of what people are um, are asking. Correct. Also, we've got questions for you. We got questions for you of um, specific ones that I've got about homes and marketing and yes. how we can get the word out and what's uh -huh. going on and, yeah. and everything like that. Got so some ideas. Cool ideas. I think we're all going to benefit from. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I want to say thank you to Tim, um, Rick. There was a guy, uh, mm -hmm. and then a, a, and we talk about Carl that called me today. George, quit. And there's just a, a lot of people have been calling and texting and emailing, and yeah. people's got needs. Some people are having some issues yeah. in their life, and and uh, just want to say, you know, I appreciate the the uh, you know Karen, mm -hmm. all of them that have been trying to help well, and taking since, the time out. Ever you since know? we mentioned something about homelessness. Let me tell you something. I can't imagine a person it doesn't touch, that it doesn't bring yeah. up an emotion or wanting to help. Yeah. And we are finding that there's so many people trying to help and want to be a part and try, try to get something going. So yeah. we appreciate it. And, and I, like I said, I don't know nothing about homelessness. We I don't really know. I'm, I'm a builder. I like building homes. I, I think that our our answer, or our, our uh, a, a answer, that could help homelessness is our inexpensive home housing. Absolutely. And everywhere I look, I don't find anything that inexpensive for homelessness. No. I don't mm -hmm. find it for, and it doesn't have to be for homelessness. I live in that same house, mm -hmm. and it's beautifully decorated. You're actually yep. going to get one or two next week and oh, decorate it. Yay. Okay. And I just heard, I'm going to go ahead and just put it out there. Okay. That the 6th of May. May 6th. At, and I set the time up. Okay. I think it's at 11. Like Karen will have to remind me. I think it's eleven. I just oh, she's she's gonna send me an email. Okay. But um, she lives in in um, Asheville, oh, and she yes. mm -hmm. sent an email to the city board of Asheville, mm -hmm. and wrote up a letter and and um, said, hey, we have an Incredit Box and all this stuff, so we've got an appointment with the city of Asheville, North Carolina, and we're taking an Incredit Box over there. Okay. And we're gonna take it over the one you decorated. Oh, we're gonna take, take it. Take a house. Oh, I didn't They're know. They're gonna that. look at it. They're gonna look yeah. at one of our houses. I do not listen to what you say. <laughs> I do not. Oh, so we're going to take it. Yes. And so what oh. I was thinking is we'll paint it inside, we'll outside, it. but I want to leave part of it unpainted. Okay. And then you'll decorate it maybe with a oh, single bed. Oh, how exciting. A single yes. bed and all that mm -hmm. stuff. I want to make it look like, what would it look right. like if you put a little bit of sweat equity into a, into a credit box? I agree. Okay. So for 20 grand, I think they're going to be blown away by the durability and the live Livability. Livability. Livability mm -hmm. of that Incredit box. Right. How about this one? Functionality. Functionality. <laughs> How about that? Functionality. Yeah, exactly. So that'll be May 6th. May 6th. Okay. In Asheville, North Carolina, we got the city. Unbelievable. We have the no city idea. is going to look at our Incredit box. All right. So if you got a city busy. that wants to see our Incredit box, you let us know. We'll be glad to bring Incredit box to your city. Oh, will we? Uh, I will. <laughs> We will. And uh -huh. and show it. Okay. That's one way of marketing our Incredit Box. And yeah. I, you know, uh, gosh, we're never going to get these questions. But I know. My the God, thing Monday, is, Wednesday. is that, you know, when we come out with our Incredit Box, it just flooded, right? Yeah. And then it's kind of stopped. And I was thinking. Now, mine died. So just we know. I'm, and I'm sure I'm close enough. Are you yeah, on? Yeah, I'm on. Yep. Oh, God, have you yeah. been on? No, yeah, I'm on. You've been on the whole time? Yeah, I was off, I think, when he pulled up and stuff like that. Okay, okay, all right. But so anyway. Okay, so I'm I'm toast right now. Yeah. But, um, God, what was my train of thought? I forgot. Um, well, oh, the, the market went down. The, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we sold about 100 of those. Yeah. About 18. We sold eight, 17 or 18 models now. I thought it was mm -hmm. 22, but I got to count this morning. 17 or 18. Yeah. And so... But then it, then it kind of just slowed down. Mm -hmm. So we come out with them and it surged. And I think sometimes that we saturate our market that follow us. Mm -hmm. And then to get out beyond that market, right. we need more marketing. Right. And I've mm -hmm. got some ideas about marketing. I'm going to share with the you know you all and see what you think. And you're part of the marketing. And Are see you going to share it at the end of the show or is it going to be a different show? I don't know. 
<laughs> well, hang in there with us and you'll find out. Yeah, yeah, hang in there. Okay, exactly. You know what they'll do? I was gonna, Zip I was to the very room. Don't say nothing. Okay. All right. Anyway, we need your help and go need, and all exactly, that Exactly. That's right. right. Day, DJ. DJ. D E E J. Oh, D, D. D. J. J. Okay. Could you have a workshop for those of us who want to stucco the outside of an ESP? My wife and I want to, want to DIY this, but don't want to make any mistakes on our investment. I think that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. I'd love to do a workshop. Yeah, I like workshops. We used to do a ton of them. Right. I think it's neat. I enjoy teaching and doing all this fun. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I should do? There's just a lot that it's goes. It's so there's much to so organize much, in it. There's yeah. a lot to organize it. I am 100% not against workshops. No. But. We got time. We've been through the work part of it. Oh, my goodness. Now, that was building a whole house. It but, was. But maybe if we picked out a few trades that we could show mm -hmm. how to do. And also, you know. Yes. There's nothing like being hands-on. Right. I'll do a mm -hmm. video, but it's still nothing like hands-on. But nothing. you know what? I want to highlight that. And yes, I would like to show some something. You know, maybe we yeah. can do something with that. And I'll give all the information about um, Stuckle Flex, and you can mm -hmm. order it. You may have it UPS to your house. You know. You know, we can also. Uh, wouldn't it be cool if we did have something like that? And you have the Stucco Flex representative, somebody that comes out there and they the talk workshop. about it to the workshop. Uh -huh. You know. Okay. So anyway, we'll figure out something. Another question from Angry Sarcasm. Oh, well, there you go. I hope this is a hope it's any mean one against me. I hope it ain't. Questions. <laughs> mean. See, I haven't looked at none of this. I don't even know what it is. Any chance you could figure out if a large capacity washer mm -hmm. would fit in the Austin, even if it doesn't look good? I'd also want a dryer and under counter dishwasher. I'm not asking to have them put in. I just want to know if it can be done. I'll be using a countertop oven. And okay. I hate having dishes to wash, so I won't need much storage in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And she gave, this person gave uh, the dimensions of their washer, dryer, and all that. And I understand okay. this may eat into space of the living room. Mm -hmm. So, and, and she's wanting the Austin. And I'll have to, gosh, I haven't memorized the names of the floor plans because I've been. And Austin, I believe, is the eight, eight by foot, twenty. I think it's the eight by twenty. I think it's the eight by twenty. And I was, uh, I've been doing floor plans for custom still. Yes, but mm -hmm. full size. All right. So when you do a, the Austin, it's got the bathroom and kitchen coming mm -hmm. in. The, you come in the back of the house. Yeah. So you've only got at the very beginning of the door. You cannot put a a twenty four inch wide anything, refrigerator or anything, right, right there. If you put a, a small refrigerator, it's 19 inches, it'd be perfect because the door jam, the 30 inch door, the eight foot wide, so you get the mm -hmm. bathroom, the door, and the kitchen. Right. So if you're going to add anything that's full size, it needs to be down towards the other end of the kitchen, towards the living room. Okay. So they're looking at a, at a full size washer. Now this, and you know, actually, dryer, this is something that we do get a lot of questions about. Almost all the time. Dishwasher. They want a washer and dryer. You know, nobody, we understand you don't want to go to the laundromat. We understand that. And you had, and I did too. Mm -hmm. Our suggestion was. Our suggestion was. And I swear, I think you guys, of course, I think I would put it outside in the shed. I would. That's exactly. I what would we run we your water and your drain out to, out to it. I'd do it. When you start putting a full-size mm -hmm. washer and dryer in mm -hmm. an eight-foot wide house, yeah, it's really going to crowd it. Now, one of the things I think somebody brought up is something about uh, when it freezes. What do you do? Okay. It's out in the shed. What can you do to All right, make you that can function? Get, you can get just a, that, a little porcelain heater, a little heater. Okay. All you have to do is keep it from freezing. Keep it from freezing. So now, if you're up in a really northern climate, you're going to have to take precaution. You're going to have to insulate that shed and make it really nice. You know, our um, our spray foam sheds, yep. or I mean our mm -hmm. panel sheds, yep. are really nice. You can put a heater in it. Of course, you got to have electricity, water, right. and power, mm -hmm. right? Let's, no, that is power. Electricity, Electricity, water, and, and drain. Water and yes, it the drain. drain it. So I, I know would it's, totally do that. I would not put the space. I would not have it inside the house. And I yeah. do laundry once and, a week. And, and if you're out in the country or anything like that, yeah. you can have your gray water go out on the ground. If yeah. you use organic mm -hmm. soaps, yep. it can just go right out on the ground. Perfect. There you so go. And, and if you had to, you could run an extension cord. Now to really, you know what? I just thought about mm. it. To really say, hey, okay. I don't want to dig a ditch to the water line. I don't want to dig a ditch for the electric. I don't. Right. I can't dig. I'm doing all that. So, it's gonna be a hassle like anything else. But it'd be it better than having it in the house because you're doing laundry what once a week. Right. I, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. If it's full size, you could do even do once every two weeks your laundry. Right. I don't know. But 
you could run a garden hose mm -hmm. out to the shed okay. and an extension cord when you want to do your laundry. Yep. And that's it. But you've done that. Pretty much a long time. Yeah, you did and that. And then your discharge of your, yeah. of your gray water, it could go out on the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or it could discharge into a barrel. Right. And then you could contend with it. There's a way of doing it. There's a I way think, of doing it. I think when you start putting in big appliances in these tiny homes, yeah. it's going to crowd you. I hate walking sideways or feeling uh, cramped. No. When you I feel know. just a little bit cramped, mm -hmm. I get, it will. It'll get on your nerves. It'll eventually get mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. Yeah, That's will. why I'm a little bit of a little, you know, about crawling up a ladder mm -hmm. into a loft. I can, I, th I think it can go on, but I know as I people, like as people get myself. older and stuff like that, mind. if you get the flu, yeah, you're sick. You're going to probably stay downstairs on the sofa. Yeah. But if you want to go to the bed, it's tough navigating that ladder. That is true. You know, yep, and exactly. just different stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. but I know some people like a ladder, mm -hmm. and that's why we build well, and two homes with ladders. Well, some people need the space. Some people will uh, sleep downstairs, and others will, uh, they'll, at the same time, they need yeah. somebody to sleep upstairs. So, now, that's the way it goes. Well, the stairs that we're building is not a full ladder. It's got handrails, yes. and it's, mm -hmm. but it's not a, a, a set of steps you're going to walk straight down. You're going to want to come down backwards, but it's a whole lot easier to go up and down on this step. Way easier. Yeah. Okay. All right. Another one. Uh, political Geek. That's just, that's their name. That's their handle. Their handle. Okay, their handle. handle. I know you've done a lot of walkthroughs of the Incredible Box. Any chance of doing one showing the utility connections in detail? Okay. Perfect. We had talked about that before. Let's do it tomorrow. And we're going to do a show on that. And we're going to do a show on the mini split of showing how to put... Can you... Tabs and bleach, you can do both of those things. Like well, I don't... The, I've never known of tabs. I'm assuming they're chlorinated tabs. Yeah. And they set in the pan. Okay. We'll bust one open tomorrow. We'll find out. And show that. Let's okay. do that tomorrow. And we'll do the uh, utility connections. Okay. That'll be good. Yeah. I love the Incredibox. So, uh, Ruth Kasner, please don't hey, tell Ruth. me... I missed the 100,000 um, subscriber tiny house giveaway. If not, can you tell me when it will be? Yeah. All right. We've been talking about this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We... Well, it has to be live. Yeah. Right. It mm -hmm. has to be a live broadcast, right? Well, yeah. Oh, you, that's right. You, you got a date. Well, we got a... Well, we don't know. You said Memorial Day. Well... <laughs> Am I supposed to... Hmm? Well, yeah! I swear to God! Zip it! Anyway... We're thinking Memorial Weekend. What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> We're thinking about Memorial Weekend, but you have not missed it yet. We are working out the details right now to, to draw out the name and how we're doing it, but we are thinking about Memorial Weekend, okay? That means that we've been in business for seven years. Wow. Seven years. So it would be an anniversary. I used anniversary. to look young. I used to look young. Now you look younger. <laughs> yeah, okay. I look rolled <laughs> over. Okay. All right. But you've not missed it. No, haven't missed it. Haven't missed it. All right. This one I think is really cool. This, I thought I actually thought about this this morning. This Did next you? question. Yeah, okay, okay. it's funder. Um, Arizona Alchemy. Yeah. Arizona Alchemy. That's their handle. And this, I thought about it. I wonder if your smart car will pull an incredible box. Oh my goodness. And I thought about this. I want to see if your smart car, we've got to get a hitch on it. And I don't know if there's a place to put a hitch on your car Can or not. I don't know. I want to see if it'll pull it. Well, somebody else at the shop, I think, said, let's put a uh, put my uh, smart car on top of a tiny house. They've wanted to do that forever. That's a great idea, it too. It is not a bad idea. And I wanted all of the guys to actually lift it up, like Carrie. Oh, we Get know. all the guys together oh, to carry the smart car. I've got some. All right, so I've got some really cool okay, ideas that I want to do with the Incredibox. Okay. One of them that we're, we're actually doing it right now. We're getting ready to make it float. Yes, I am going to talk about that. I, I'm going to do it redneck. I'm going to fill our 50 gallon drums of our spray mm -hmm. foam and I'm going to fill gonna it full. Be fun. And I'm going to tie them underneath the house, my house, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take it in the pond. Okay. I think that's gonna be funny. Yeah, I'm gonna have young. And, and I will not miss not one shred of that. Yeah. So. So. All right. And we we're got. Gonna, we're gonna try. We haven't got through one page. We have twelve pages. Well, we're not gonna get through them all today. Oh, we're not gonna get through them all today. All right. But we're Next gonna do our one. Best. Is Star Lugo? Yes. That uh, they have an Incredibox, or I mean, they have a tiny home from us. I think. All right. Hi, Amanda. Hi. I, I have question. Where would the mini split go in the Birmingham? I, I and if the bay window mm -hmm. area would be. 
a, uh, and if the bay window area would be an open space. Mm. All right, so. That's a good question. Right. It is a good question. You know, it's going to be a split unit. Okay. Yeah. There's, in the Birmingham, you've got a unit in, so, yeah, okay. in the master bedroom. In the master bedroom. In the living room. So there'll be two. There'll be two air handlers, two air handlers yeah. and then just the one, what's that called, a condenser? Condenser outside. Yeah, okay. Yep. And the bay window is open. It's got a seat in it. So the bay window has a seat. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's Jason. Hey, Jason. Sir. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Okay. Be careful. And, uh, They'll probably follow you all the way down. <laughs> all right, it said uh, space for a nice space for reading nook or a big Christmas tree. So the bay window will be up off the floor a little bit, like 24 okay. inches, mm -hmm. and we'll have one big window in it. Okay. So it's going to have a seat. It'll have a seat in it. Yeah. I'm going running. <laughs> George is chasing Jason. He sees Jason every day and he barks at him. Um, I too sent my deposit. I have been waiting six years for the right house to come come along finally. Yeah. She wow. Us for a very long time. Also, the design has two spaces marked for washer and dryer. I know. You know what? I got to redo that floor plan. I okay. was I was such a hurry to get that we out. We were trying to get everything I was so excited together. about yes. it. Yes. One's going to be a closet. And one's a washer and dryer. Okay. So when you go into the Birmingham to the left, to be I was going to put the washer and dryer there because behind the, uh, the, the refrigerator, and then the other end would be a closet underneath the steps. Okay. All yeah. right. Good. So. But which um, is it? The closet's under the steps. So that's where it's going to be. The I'll verify under the it. Okay. When we do it. Um, also, okay. And then it says Amanda, Amanda, Amanda's voice. We we are loud and proud, and I am the <laughs> same way. Randy needs earplugs because I am just as loud. <laughs> Good. See, that's what I'm saying. My dad used to go. Oh, his dad would close his ears and rub them and he'd rub his head and everything. All right. <laughs> the next handle is. Uh, the, the Yes Living with Cindy Lou. The Yes Living with Cindy Lou. Yes Living with Cindy Lou. Hi, right, Randy and Amanda. I see. Exclamation. You guys are awesome. <laughs> solar questions, please, from the incredible solar video. Mm -hmm. If the full solar package and water catchment and all is on an Incredibox, what is the weight in tow? Uh, okay, that's a good question. Really good question, Sandy. Over. What are you doing? Flipping it over. I ain't done reading yet. Oh, is there more to it? Yeah. Oh, there's more questions. Okay. What size vehicle? Okay. And for the Dover with two dormers, full solar, tow weight, and vehicle type to use. Keep up the incredible work. I love watching you guys and Ace. I can't wait until I can purchase my forever home. I didn't even think that you should have brought Ace. Yeah, well, oh, I thought we were, I didn't know if we were going to stay know, here and do the show or not. We were going to film here. Or yeah. what? Dogs are having a fit. Okay, on I'll get with you on the weight of that, of the battery okay. weight and all that. And mm -hmm. I know Lucas has got the weight. We got a, we got the box that we have to build and all that, put that together. Okay. Now, on the solar end of it, on the Incredibox, we've incorporated a generator. Okay. And the reason I did it, it's a really small generator, right? And it's okay. one of the inverters that are real, real quiet. Right. So when you, and it's dual fuel, so we wanted to make it to where it would hook up to the propane. Right. We've sold eight of those. Eight of them already. So we've ordered 10 packages for solar. Mm -hmm. And we're building a box. You grab it, set it on the tongue. Now, it's going to be super heavy on that tongue. Mm. So, I mean, you got four batteries, I think, is included in it. Yeah. That. And I think the batteries are over 150 pounds a piece. Are you serious? Wow. So what are you gonna what are they so, gonna do? You better have a truck. You better have a you better have something that can haul. There's it. nowhere else to put that incredible box. Right, that's true. But on that tongue. And we made a tongue box for it. Oh, there's so, nowhere else to put that solar. Yeah, no and the batteries are yes, in the solar. Right. So everything's in the mm -hmm. box and the dual dual fuel generator and everything. Now the bigger units I didn't include a generator because it's a two forty mm -hmm. and the generator would be massive. I looked up a generator, six thousand dollars for a quiet one. A quiet, oh, like a Honda goodness. that's yeah. super nice. Mm -hmm. Listen, you do not want to get a generator that just rattles no. the, the rafters running no. all the time. Spend I'm, the extra money on it because, I mean, it's so loud. I'm going to tell you right now, this is how I feel about solar. you got to be prepared. Yeah. It, all right, today is an overcast day. Yep. You're not going to get a full charge. So if you used all of your solar last night, 
running your air conditioning or heating or whatever mm -hmm. whatever it is. Yeah. You started out today with a deficit. Right. You may not get to the, the optimal level that you need mm -hmm. power today. Let's say you go to work and you, while you're at work, you're thinking it's going to charge up tonight. You come home and you turn your air on and whatever it is. Right. It's not going to happen, mm -hmm. you know, because you got, maybe it rains for three days. It'd be overcast for a couple, three days. Right. So you're going to run out of power. Right. You got to remember that. Right. So you don't want a generator running. Rah! It's just annoying. Yeah. So that dual fuel generator is super quiet. Mm -hmm. You can, it's going to vibrate, rumble a little bit, but nothing that bad. And I just, you've got to be prepared that you're going to run out of, you're going to run out of fuel mm -hmm. and you've got to know how to conserve. Right. So if you're cooking, it needs to be either on a, a homemade little jet stove. They're making them cute little jet stoves now. Mm -hmm. You can even, you know, use propane. They even got the solid fuel. I want to get a solid fuel stove. It's almost like a candle. Okay. You, you just light it with a match, mm -hmm. put your... Put your steak over, cook it. Yeah, and cook it. With a match. Okay. Okay. You, you got to be ready. Yeah, especially if you're going to do solar. I think that people know that. They they already know what the cost is going to be, that it's, you know, because it's not not um, it's not cheap at no. all to do it. So, uh, but like you said, it's very telling that we've already sold eight. I yeah. mean, for heaven's just, sakes, it's, but, it's a need. But, you know, we've had, we've had one customer in particular that I know mm -hmm. that, they were, run out of, they were running out of power all the time. Yeah. And they were running their generator. Wah! Just loud, man. Yeah. And it's, that's gas. That's money. So mm -hmm. where, where is the, the benefit of having solar mm -hmm. if you're constantly running your generator? I know. Yeah, exactly. The, generator, the, is, yeah. the generator is just to get you over the hump. They need a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Let's say it's 90 degrees tonight and it's a dog day summer. Right. And it's been raining a couple of days and you just don't want to sweat. Right. You know, mm -hmm. then you can turn it on. But it will, yep. if, if you have... If you don't run your your um, heating and air mm -hmm. as much, it'll run your fridge, your lights, your computer, and the TV. No problem. It probably will never run out of okay. uh, fuel. But you start getting into heating and cooling. Okay, that's where the it's going to take that's you where out. it drains it. Okay, good yeah. question. All right, next question. You want to read that one? Uh, let's see. Um, LCCA. <laughs> <laughs> why would you, why would he give me one of these? Okay, so L C C A O L, electric panel behind the shower. I'm yeah. assuming this is in the Incredibox. Um, what do you do to make sure that the water does not come out onto contact with the panel box that is behind the shower of the ESP floor plans? Water heater under the stairs. Could you place the water heater under the stairs ESP floor plan and have the first? three or four steps pull out for temporary access. That way you do not need to extend the dormer. Incredibox on the mountain. Oh, wait a minute. They've got several questions here. This isn't just one. So let's just deal with the first one. All right. So I'll probably cut that part out. Uh, what do you do to make sure the water does not come onto contact with the panel box that is behind the shower of the ESP floor plans? Yeah, and we, we asked that to our state um, inspectors mm -hmm. and our ANSI. We mm -hmm. said, is it okay to put the panel box on the same wall that shares a shower? Mm -hmm. So it's a dry area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it has a valve above it. It's a shower valve. Mm -hmm. Sure, it has a potential of, could have a leak one day, right? Mm -hmm. but, it, but that is a dry area. But they said it was completely fine mm -hmm. to put it in that place. Okay. Right? So um, we do not protect it. You know, it is protect. It's just the way it's built. I don't know mm -hmm. if it's actually waterproof. Right. You know, but um, we've we've gone by the codes, and they said it was fine to put that in the back of that shower. Okay, because I've had other people ask that yeah. as well. Yeah, and we we ask it the same mm -hmm. thing. Hey, is this going to be all right? Because it's such a convenient spot. Because somebody's going to normally cover that up, and mm -hmm. it's the only framed wall in the house. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Uh, the next question uh, that they're asking: water heater mm -hmm. under the stairs. All right. So we've done that. And, and I know it's the second part of that question mm -hmm. is pulling out the steps for the dormer not to be. So what we do is our dormer is eight foot. Mm -hmm. The loft is eight feet. It works out perfect. That's why that model, we've done the model so many times. Mm -hmm. So when you walk up your steps, it's six foot and then you got a two foot closet in the bathroom or a loft up right. uh, platform. So where the, where the, the dormer starts, mm -hmm. the stairs start. So we don't have to move that in and out. Okay. If we did move the steps in and out, then Unless we made it hollow, it's going to take up room underneath the steps. Mm. So there's no, we don't have to make the steps any longer, but I appreciate the idea. The other right. thing is we do put water heaters mm -hmm. 
under the steps when you don't want a washer and dryer. Right, exactly. We've done it for some investors. Mm -hmm. And then what they do, instead of putting a water heater in the kitchen, mm -hmm. they put their fridge right there. Mm -hmm. Some of them do a wraparound uh, kitchen, but then you don't have a place for your refrigerator. It's a small one. Right. I don't like that. I like, I like being able to have an apartment-sized refrigerator right. at the end, right, like we have it, mm -hmm. or if you want to put the, the water heater under the steps and the fridge to the left. I agree. If you put the, the water heater under the steps, mm -hmm you still have that closet area. Now, somebody would say, well, put the washer and dryer where the closet is. The only mm -hmm. thing is now you're stepping over the, the, the uh, toilet yeah. to get to that. Yes, so we've right. done a couple variations of that. Mm -hmm. Put the toilet where the closet was and put a vanity sink there. But right. then you st and then you could put a washer and dryer there, but you lose your closet. Right. So, okay. tell me I haven't, <laughs> I haven't turned every listen, corner. Yeah, they've thought about it quite a bit. Man. Exactly. Uh, let's see if that was the last of that that we could do today. The Incredibox on the mountain. Now, we've been getting questions about this like crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you have a few scattered sites on the mountain that can hold a cluster of Incrediboxes? And we just discussed this. All right. Okay? So. We just talked about yeah, it. Yeah, we did. All right. Mm -hmm. So, the question is, can we put Incredibox or 16, 8 by 16 Incredibox on right. the mountain development? Mm -hmm. So. And we talked about it yesterday, like you we said, did. there are lots specifically perfect for an Incredibox. For the Incredibox. And I am going to um, position them or mm -hmm. allot them yep. just for Incrediboxes. And what we'll do is we will find out, Randy will find out how many are available. Yeah. Because there's only a, a few, I would say there's, you know, well, I don't know how many, but we'll find out how many. Randy will let us know. And we're going to allow yeah. the credit boxes on the mountain. We're, but we're going to choose the lot. Yeah, because they're, you know what? Because they're specific, specific about how they're built. Yes. They're they're kind of small, and they're on mm -hmm. a steep end. And how I'm going to develop that lot mm -hmm. to accommodate them. Yeah. Can I um make sure my bike's still on? Is there more questions? Oh, is there more? Oh, not for that one. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put something out there. I need to talk to you about it. You'll okay. probably edit it if you don't like it. Okay, that's fine. But. I want to know, you guys, I want to know if I, and I, I have, there's, a, there's two spots, one in the mountain, one on, in the uh, development that we live in right now mm -hmm. on the 34 acres. Okay. I can put more homes on mm -hmm. and we can probably do it while we're doing the mountain, while we're mm -hmm. fabricating the mountain. I can put the infrastructure in really quick. Right. I think I can get it in by the end of the year, mm -hmm. believe it or not. Um, I've talked to the, the, uh, Engineers, mm -hmm. I've talked to the electric company and the water company. We're all set on the one uh, next to the beach. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows I've been snooping around there and spraying exactly. there. Exactly. Everybody's seen it. Now, so we have like 140 people waiting. They say waiting for a lot or whatever, right. something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm willing to open up those lots. Mm -hmm. And there's, I can actually squeeze about 80 home sites. Yeah. And I know it's tight, but Amanda had a great idea. Instead of parking them like this and you mm -hmm. pulling up beside it, she wanted to park them this way and you pull up, way. you pull perpendicular to the house. Yes. And you could have a deck and you just pull right up to mm -hmm. it like that. And yeah. I think it was really nice. And, and I think it'll look pretty. And I was wanting prettier. to do an Incredibox, maybe a slightly different size, mm -hmm. not style, but size. Size, mm-hmm. And we have 80 home sites. Right. Now, I want to know, and this is how we've always done business. Yeah. If I have enough people interested, I'm almost 100% sure right now. The mm -hmm. only thing is gathering just the panels. And I've been talking to the manufacturer on panels. Right. That we can get enough panels mm -hmm. that I can fulfill that order by the end of the year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Because we're splitting our company in a division of... Models right. and incredible boxes. Mm -hmm. The incredible box is just like full on a full crew. Right. And then our models are a full on with our Amish crew up in Kentucky that they're doing an amazing job. You yes. know we have ten crews up there now? Ten crews, I didn't know. And they got more coming. I, was eight, but but I'm, I don't want to bring on any more because I don't want to make sure that I can promise homes right. that are not, you know, we don't have an orders. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting it out there to you guys and please if you know anybody that you know our show is not a million people no you know so right. we rely on you guys to share the news with people mm -hmm. but i'm talking two hundred dollars a rent yeah living in a, a month. we're gonna make the incredible box if we do with that development it'll be slightly bigger right. 
we're actually thinking about a 10 by 20. Yep. Mm -hmm. And yep. and the whole thing, I'm just going to, this is, now it could change. It could change. This is And just my brother's going to lose his mind and so are us in the, in the <laughs> office. But. It'll be all right. We were, we were, um, we were thinking, offering a lot, the house. I can't remember what the price no, we well, don't say the price yet. I was going to say the price, and, I, and I totally price. forgot because we got confused on another one. But we wanted to put it all inclusive, all of it together. But I'm gonna, but I was going to underpin it. We're going to set it up. We're going to paint the outside because I want it done on the outside. Mm -hmm. I yeah. want it skirted, painted, and a shed. Yeah. All right. Not, not stucco paint. Just paint it. They're all going to be painted. And it's economical. Yes. And it's mm -hmm. you start your two hundred dollars a month right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. when, I mean, once we get you in there, you start like the first of the year. You start your two hundred dollars yeah. a month. Mm -hmm. Eighty home sites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And it's going to so be. So be thinking about it. So I'm going to tell the. I'm going to tell us under a price. Okay, under. That's it's going to be. It'll be under fifty grand. Under fifty grand. Okay, good. And I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm no. I'm. This is so stupid. Oh, let me tell you something. He's the biggest gossiper there is. You can't tell him and don't tell him anything I, private. We might be able to offer a little bit of financing. Just a little bit. <laughs> but now, put it this way. Now, this is not final and it's done. It's not official. We're not official. This is a video. I, I, you know what? Like, I want to come out because I want to know what people think. We need the feedback. I need the okay? feedback. I want to know feedback. if you, if I had that, would you be interested in living Would you there? be interested? Yeah. And I'm going to do it and different because you will. when we do this, yeah. I'm going to do an immediate tree landscaping around the whole thing really yeah. quick i'm gonna have that done and a gated entrance oh, to, just to that this to that part of the development yeah mm -hmm. and it'll, it'll be done i've already talked to yump about it but i talked to the city yeah i've talked to the electric company and they said yeah just well, we're yeah. ready when you are all right and i so, talked to the engineer yeah. who hopefully will come out he Did called you, me he, he called oh, me let me tell you something randy's gonna get on you he called me said i'll be out there so anyway, let me know what you think about that, if that's something you'd be interested in. Okay. And and you're going to say, roll your eyes, oh, yeah, right, Randy, you can do 100, you can do 80. I'm well, telling you what, it's coming You're on. not going to believe, but I showed a video of how we're kind of engineering the Incredibox. Yes. Lucas, me, and then Mike came out there. I'll get Tom when he gets back from Kentucky. Mm -hmm. We're excited. Oh, yeah. I think we are going to be able to really pump them things out. We, out. My goal is five, and every time I say five to somebody in a the day, they all go, mm, They're like, oh, yeah, we can do exactly. two or three. That's <laughs> and then, so it's, that's where I want to, if okay. we do five in a day, yeah. do you know we will fulfill 100 homes in five weeks? Five weeks, we'll have all 100 done. Show me the houses. So what Show I'm, me the houses, so what, what I got to say. So what I'm saying is, Show me, is that, all the homes in the in the Thunderdome. Mm -hmm. Say we're going to take just a month off. Mm -hmm. We're going to come over there. We're going to throw out eighty homes. Yeah. And we go back into the Thunderdome. Yeah. Okay. I want to see it. So and that's my. What I see, you'll see. That's my plan. All okay. Right. Oh my gosh. We. we <laughs> I don't know how long we've been going we're, on. This is the worst. Let me see how ever. long. Let's see what time this is. Jeez, how long is this it's tape? Been, oh my gosh, we didn't get. To I called it a tape. Forty-two minutes. <laughs> you called it a tape. How long is this tape, man? You called it a tape. <laughs> I'm so old. You're so old. I'm old school. Are you the oldest person there? No. Mm, okay. I, think, I think you're creeping up on okay. me. Okay. Wait a minute. I'll never catch up to you. I'm going to ice myself and you'll be able to zip right past me. <laughs> then I'll wake up. Okay. So, Deb Nelson, I do have a question. When my Incredibox is ready for me, I'm number 95. Nice. Approximately, what is the cost of setup? We just talked about. Set up I where? Hold on. Uh, we just talked about, or I talked about setup yesterday because we talked about it yesterday morning mm -hmm. um, about how uh, costs have went up. So, yeah. yep. And this is what she's saying is hooking up to the water and electric. I know that I'm responsible for my skirting and I have ideas for that. Mm -hmm. And Good. I'm asking a, a ballpark approximate. Yeah. Also, okay, and there's one. Okay. All right, so we, we started at 300. We went to 500. Yeah. And then yesterday, we actually have a house, and we started thinking about it. And I said, you know what? To get Yump and his, his mm -hmm. bobcat off of the mountain. Yeah. If you call the bobcat, like a guy with a skid steer. I actually said that yesterday. I did remember. It was a skid, ski, a skid steer, and there was a guy in the comments that said, Amanda, I'm so proud that you remembered it's a skid steer. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah, skid steer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you, that's a machine. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. on tracks, like mm -hmm. a tank. Yeah. And... It has to have a special device on the front to be able to put a ball underneath the hitch and move it. Mm -hmm. But 
to to hire somebody to come out to your house or, or to move it would be minimum just just to come there is 250 bucks and then it's about 150 bucks an hour right right so our community is at yeah jumps across the street mm -hmm. but he has to stop what he's doing run the skid steer over there and then move the house he charges us for that right it's minimum 150 bucks an hour right mm -hmm. he's charging we need at least two or three guys. Yeah. The guys mm -hmm. are about 20, 25 bucks 20, an hour. $25 Almost an hour. everybody in the shop makes that unless they just walked in the door right, right now. Exactly. So you're looking at that. Then the Material. price of wood, mm -hmm. a two by 12 yeah. that's 12 foot long yeah. is now $60. And it used to be about 13. That's insane. 60. Mm -hmm. So we don't need a, you know, but that's another 60 bucks here if we use yeah. just one board. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we don't use pressure treated the whole way up mm -hmm. so I use pressure treated and then I use blocks of sawmill lumber mm -hmm. we have a sawmill guy and he makes these big hunks of lumber and so we put that on top of the pressure treated because mm -hmm. it'll rot if it's in the ground okay and we keep it dry and it goes up so we need blocks underneath the house so if the house is bigger mm -hmm. then you've got more blocks more leveling it's just harder when you get a big 30 footer Mm -hmm. You're going to be underneath there half a day just getting it level. Yeah. Then you got to do your water power and sewer. Mm -hmm. You know. So, and we were talking about the smaller homes to the bigger homes. So I think we're probably going to end up have two prices. Yeah, we From are. A Sixteen foot to what a twenty-four. So in credit box, you're looking. Something. In credit box, minimum right now is about five hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah. You get up to a thirty footer, it could get up to a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, exactly. So that's your approximate, but we'll yeah. get with. A case by case basis of well, what you bought. And you know the thing, and I know people don't understand the dynamics of our company. But we don't have guys that just say, hey, they're our setup, for, our setup crew, mm -hmm. all right? They have to be pulled off of a job that they're trimming a house out. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're carpenters. Right. And we have to pull them off the house. When they're pulled off, then that house is not being built. We're losing money. The house is not being built. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a really hard dynamic for us to, to do because I love developing the land. I want to set up the homes. And, and it's become a part of it. We just did not know that was going to become... The yeah. company did not know that it was going to turn into excavating and developing and stuff like that. Right. But this is a necessary evil. And I talked about yesterday on the video, whenever we were following the two houses that got set up in the forest. Yeah. Um, and everybody will remember that, is that uh, we said, this is a luxury. Because I told them, I said, listen, uh, excavators probably not going to want to fool with you. They don't like little piddly jobs. They want big jobs. They're not going to come out there and move your house unless they charge you a bunch. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, I know it. You know what they, I'm saying? They're not so, going to fool with you. They're going to fool with you. So, okay, moving on. God. Okay. So, could you show, and I don't know what that is. That's in Japanese or something. Hang <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, could you show the top, and I've had other people be interested in this. Could you show the top of the roof? Of the Incredibox in yeah. the future video. Oh, great. We want to see what... Let's do that tomorrow. I'm so glad you said that. Because I'm going to show you guys everything. You ain't going to believe I'm going to pull the skirt up. I, exactly. You ain't going to believe what... Take your shirt off. I I'm going to show it all. Right, I'm going to reveal it all. <laughs> well, tomorrow's going to be a night show. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. What else you wanted to show? Uh, yes. Yeah, so hold on. Please and thank you. Also, do the Incrediboxes come with a metal roof and gutters? Yes. Okay. Metal or is roof it just and gutter. Roof of raw metal panels. Yep. I, you know, I'm so glad you're talking about. I, I love the Incredibox. That's like my. It's becoming my favorite build of all time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna have to go through these pretty quick because we're running out of daylight here. Okay. Yeah. Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Lisa Carnahan. She is the one who made those pillows for me that time. Okay. Made a bunch of pillows. Uh, what do you mean by no custom homes unless chosen? I am. I, I thought you were still doing customs. We need to clarify that for once and all for right. all about the customs all right. quickly okay um we don't have we only have probably now we may only have two or three builders that can actually do a custom yeah mm -hmm. and then the designing phase of it yeah and the difficulty and the cost is going to be more yeah so i will do a custom yes it's going to cost more than a model Has because to. of the designing yep. and, and and taking in the ideas and people's merchandise and their mm -hmm. lights and their windows and all the things. I mean, I love designing and doing. Right. If it was just me, I'd love to build a custom right. every single time. But I've only got one, two, maybe three builders if that's it yeah to do custom so that's why we try to do the models and push you that way towards and, the models. One, and one of the things that we want to make sure that we just just be sure and research it to death 
go over the models. You will be surprised at the models may be exactly what you want. Maybe or darn exactly close. or very, very close. Might be what you need. Think about what you could do after you get your model yeah. and add to it. You know what I'm saying? You know, so really think about that. Well, think about them. And I know we got a lot to go through here. Exactly. But the thing is, man, when it comes to a, mo a custom home, mm -hmm. think of all the ones we've done. I know. I mean, oh, there my are people. Gosh, they're so different. But. And they, they're just so custom. They're so custom. And they're beautiful. Yeah. Remember the one we had, we're back here, we had chicken wire up top. I know. And we had, she did the loom. Yep. And mm -hmm. they had places for the yarn. All yarn and stuff. That's custom, man. Major and custom. there's no way. Now, you might be able to add all that stuff into a, mm -hmm. a model home, but we've, if we've made a living on seven, but it's been one hard seven years. And I, I encourage people too, because I, I think about the Incredibox, that house, she could have customized it herself yeah. inside if she had an Incredibox. Think yep. about getting an Incredibox and then just doing your deal. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Okay? So, anyway, so much, yep. But anyway, but we still encourage. It's like if you want to send in something about custom, we'll look it over. I will look. I will personally look at your plans and Randy's talk to you. Randy's the only one that will look them over yeah. and approve them. Okay? Uh, Polly. Hey, Polly. Polly was going to buy a house from us at My uh, grandmother was named Polly. His grandmother was named Polly. Yeah. That's right. Callie's mom. Yep. Um, Polly Dotson, hey Polly, wondering, and this is a good question, wondering if the Amish are spray foaming the houses they are building. Yes, they are. That's a great question. No, they're, they're not. No, they're not. But personally. their neighbor is, mm -hmm. and he's not Amish. He just lives two minutes down the road, and you know what he does? They get him lined up, and when he's on the way home from work, yeah. he just stops and sprays them. It's a great deal. Oh, and he's a good price for us. Location, location, location. Yep. Uh, love your neighbor. Love thy neighbor. <laughs> How about that? Okay. Luann? Not love on thy neighbor. This is a family show. My God. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Luann Rifle, what colors are the ones that you would choose for the mountain colors? I like the question and answer Wednesday. You ain't going to like today. Oh, we've, oh, my God. We've drugged we've on. We've dudded out. What are the nonsense? colors? What? Uh, we're, we mentioned before that we're going to have certain colors. Oh, okay. Yeah, that you can have at the mountain. Listen, it's gonna, you're going to have a wide variety of colors. I just don't want choose. a bright pink. Well, so why not? Why not? Uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but we'll, yeah, exactly. You're going to have a lot to pick from. And some people might want to put wood on the outside of it, too, or something, yeah, you know, exactly. and stain it. So, but, anyway, just, okay. you know what? Submit your color to us and just we'll... We'll approve it. We will or say no. yes or no. no. <laughs> okay. Tammy Smith, at some time, can you show what the axles are and that would need to be taken off to put on it to put it on a foundation? Great. I am totally not a builder. Tammy, neither am I. Tammy, great question. That is a great Let's question. Let's do that tomorrow at the, at the Incredibox. Okay. We got to remember all the stuff we're doing tomorrow. I it's mean, we are busy. All at Incredibox. Yeah, I got to get ready to that. That's good. Okay. Robert uh, Puglisi, I think it's what it's called. Is the RJO still being built? Okay. Mm. Good question. And Freedoms, touch on that. We, we are. Uh, they're custom homes mm -hmm. and they're being built by our Amish. And there's the ones that are left over from all the orders we've taken in the last year. Mm -hmm. So we're actually doing two RJOs and I think two Freedoms right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Melinda Hughes. Hey, Melinda. Melinda has bought a mountain home from us. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a mountain home um, or an incredible box, but I think it's a mountain home. Um, if John, um, John Harrison, if John is no longer hauling, who is hauling the wide loads? Yeah. That's a great question. Actually, um, Matt hauls a wide load still. He'll, he'll haul it in the short mm -hmm. distance. But we really don't have anybody to go cross country. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of brokers out there. And I'm looking at hauling one that we built in, in um, right. Minnesota. Mm -hmm. It's got to come down. So I've actually been talking. Tom's been talking to a couple yeah. brokers, and they're good to go with some ten footers. Yes. So we're going to get some relationships with them, and and do that. Um, what was about that I box, the Incredible box before that? You were saying. Um. What about axles? Oh, or, yeah. oh RJOs. Said, uh, yeah. Oh, the, the RJOs. RJOs still being built. Are they still being built? Mm -hmm. Hey, the uh, Austin. Mm-hmm is actually a freedom yeah mm -hmm. and it's an rjo exactly if you don't buy it without the norm right exactly so they're so still we've kind of incorporated yeah. in the models the rjo and the freedom you got it style it's still the okay. same almost the same structure it's just the outside is going to be amazing yes oh it's gonna be really i cannot wait yeah um anyway uh velma 
Velma has she's followed us for years, and I've uh, it's just she's so sweet. Hi Amanda, I love the Q and A sessions. Um, she's asked questions, and I've kind of skipped over them or, or didn't get to get to hers. But she has a question: the homes that you sold on the mountain, have you started building those yet? Yes. Okay. Uh, are those the 10 by 30 stick built homes? Yeah, both. Yep, mm -hmm. stick built and ESP. And yep. lastly, your voice doesn't bother me. I tune it, uh, tune in because I love to hear your laugh. So Velma, uh, she watches this all the time. I want to say hi to you and thank That's you for sweet. that. Yeah. Um, Robert, uh, Robert is a friend of mine. I've made friends with Robert and he lives in Morristown, actually. Really? So hey, Robert. Hey. Um, $20,000 for the Incredibox is a great price. Does n does this include stucco and mini split? Great question. Well, Robert, what? And, and is it and a great price without it? <laughs> no, it doesn't include stucco no, mini split. No, but no, Robert, mm -hmm. it includes a line set, electric and drain for yes. a mini split, mm -hmm. and you can get a mini split all kinds of different online and install it yourself. There's self, there is some DIY mini splits. Mm -hmm. The stucco, no. Yeah. But again, we'll provide stucco, how to get it, and even maybe do a workshop with. Yeah. It. Uh, Colette, Colette Dutch, Dutch Dutchnowski. Dutchnowski. Yeah. How much extra is the Incredibox with the off-grid solar package? The Incredibox. The Incredibox with only needs the which the off-grid package I think is ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah, and we got different pack because it can come with other things inside too, mm -hmm. like compost, toilet, tankless water heater, all that. You know, so there's. Now, well, now this goes along with it. Cherie said, Cherie Mallory, hey, Cherie, would you be able to go with a larger solar package mm -hmm. so you could do a total electric instead of using gas for hot water heater? You could, you could, you know, in a water the heater. The Incredibox she's talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. Okay. You can use, you can use that electric water heater for solar. Mm -hmm. It's no problem because it's got an inverter on it. You know, I would just, instead of running that, you know how a water heater just mm -hmm. constantly runs? Yes. It gets hot and cold, hot, and it kicks on and off mm -hmm. with the thermostat. Right, right. All right, when I get ready to take a shower, mm -hmm. I would just turn that sucker on, mm -hmm. and I'd run it during the day because okay. it wouldn't suck the batteries down. Okay. You can still use electric water heater. You can have all electric inside a solar. Okay. You just got to be conservative, and at the end, towards the end of the day, you might want to say, nah, can it get me through the night if I need more stuff during the night? Mm -hmm. Or fire up that generator for just a little bit. Trial and error is going to be a big thing. You can run everything electric. And there is a lot of people that knew more about solar and all that stuff than I ever. But ever man, would have them known. cooktops. Wow, mm -hmm. that little heater I got is fifteen hundred watts. I can't believe it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. Okay. Jane Orda. Hey Jane. And I, I go by. Look, I got Jane on my necklace. So my middle name is Jane. Amanda Jane. So Jane, talk about strong homes. Can the Incredible Boxes? withstand hurricane and tornadoes i'm in miami florida and this is a valid concern and i'm it glad is. you brought it up okay jane there and i'm, I'm going to call the panel company mm -hmm. they said that those panel structures had a wind test out of florida mm -hmm. and i know i've said that before i was going to get that wind test i'm going to get that now when it comes to can it withstand a hurricane i don't know it depends on what cat hurricane it is yeah exactly it does have tie downs okay underneath it mm -hmm. I just can't say. I mean, it is strong home. We, you know, uh, Matt just took one to Seattle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said he was doing 75 miles an hour yep. down the interstate. Mm -hmm. He said it pulled he like a dream. It. Yeah. That's a well, that's, that's a one level one hurricane, 75 miles an hour. Oh well, there you go. Okay, I didn't so, know that. So yeah, and yeah. Yeah, exactly. So is it I is it as it. strong as a a concrete block building? No way. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. If I know a hurricane's coming, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hook that sucker up and head up the hook road. Hook it up and leave. And you know what's great about that? Yeah. You have that option. And you get up to a small pickup truck. You know truck. what I'm saying? Okay, good. Love that. Patty Carre uh, Carrera. Amanda, please ignore the rude comments about your voice. It was what you were born with, and you are authentically, that's authentically you. Very sweet of her. You're fun to watch. You and Randy are very entertaining. Uh, the excitement that you both have about the houses and what you all are doing, this is infectious. I'm so glad she said that because... We want to get everybody excited. The people, I think we have people who are excited about tiny homes. Mm -hmm. They just don't have an avenue to kind of like, oh yeah. my God, this is my crowd. So we're your crowd, right? Wait, yeah. And yeah, go ahead. Was there and, any more? Yeah. There's more to it. It said, I'm learning a lot from the Q&A Wednesdays. Okay. okay? Good. Which and I, tomorrow we'll do that. We're finding that mm -hmm. out. I hope you continue to do these. My question is, can the solar package, another solar question. Nice. Uh, I'm learning a lot. Just the solar package. Uh, can the solar package be put on any of the model homes or 
only the Incredible boxes. In particular, for a model purchase in the mountain. Thank you. Thanks, Patty. Well, okay, model purchase in the mountain. Okay. Yeah, it can fit on any house. Mm -hmm. The reason we have bigger ones for bigger homes because they get more consumption. Now, if you go to the mountain, the mountain's like wooded. Yeah. It's gonna mm -hmm. be, you know, it's gonna be iffy on getting solar in the mountain. You know, it depends mm -hmm. on where you're located. But yeah, we can put them on in credit boxes and yeah. Okay. Who are you um, smiling at? I'm gonna try, well, I got a couple other questions. Uh, so Sarah said, listen, every time Randy's go-to was a Sarah. Every time you said something about something, who's that whatever? Oh, it's Sarah. I'm Sarah, in love with Sarah. In love with Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Okay. So Sarah Chrome, you can be a uh, her you can be the Sarah of the day. Uh Randy, have Sarah. you Sarah? <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Sometimes I love you, Sarah. Good time. Da, da, da. Okay, anyway. Uh, Randy, have you ever considered the ladders that fold up flat against the wall? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's all I did was consider it. Well, I haven't looked did. into it. Yeah, Sarah, that, he's lazy. He you're right. Nothing. It is, it is oh, a well, good, it is a cool thing. He doesn't care, the, Sarah. Now, the thing is, yeah, because if you had... If you go up, okay. Did Sarah just solve all our problems? Well, <laughs> it would go good in a in a um, craftsman. Okay. But when you go up your stairs, you know how you got your gable, right? Mm -hmm. But if you go up your stairs, you're gonna hit you're gonna hit that unless okay. that dormer is way out over the staircase. Okay. And so if it's gonna be out over the staircase, that's why I came up with our ten by twenty and stairs and all that. But it's, it is a great invention. That's it. Well, thank I thought you, it was Sarah. cool looking. Yeah. Uh, Sonia Herrera, if you, if I want to visit your tiny home site, do I have to let you know when I'll be visiting? This is a great question because we actually had a customer that walked up this week. We had an issue with that. Okay. Uh, I want to go see what you have so I can purchase a tiny home, and rent a space from you in the forest. And someone else asked that'll go along with it. Um, are you sold out? Somebody just said that. Are you sold out? Are, uh, good, uh, good news gal, are all your lots taken? So let's talk about visiting and lots. Okay, visit, yes. Mm -hmm. Come, come. We want everybody to come visit. But how? How all do right. they visit, though? We just have to have an appointment. You yes. have to email us. Email us first. And say, hey, I would like to come and visit, and they'll tell you when we're ready, mm -hmm. when we're available. And you can email at info, or you can call us as well. Schedule yep. an appointment, okay? Just schedule an appointment, and if you say, "Hey, I want to, I want to talk to Randy," let us know why. Let me know. And listen, I'm no big celebrity or nothing. I ain't got time for nobody. It's just that we're working. Yeah. I mean, I'm physically building homes. I'm physically designing. Right. It is on going constant all day well and the, it's just hard to break it is. away and with the visit they're going to be very detailed whenever they talk to you it may be amber uh or maybe uh becky or um i think becky does all the emails for the, yeah. the visiting and stuff they're going to be detailed and asking you hey why are you coming you know please don't be offended let us, let us know what you don't want when you get, so we you can may, prepare when you get so there we can prepare yep. you may not be ready for a house uh to to do anything right now we want to give our models a chance We've got to let the models do their thing for now yeah. and see where, you know. So if you do have plans, if you're thinking about a custom build, just email your plans first, okay? You can, of course, come and visit. They'll give you the whole, whole tour. But until your plans get reviewed by Randy and he calls you, uh, there's really no need to meet with him about that. Well. I'm just saying! I'm just saying! Next! Okay, moving on. Uh, but the one I was kind of laughing about, Mike Toss, he is the mayor of Malibu over on the beach. He said, hey, you could do the show in front of my shed beach mural. And yeah, that is a cool. great, we should do that. Let's do it next show. Let's do it next show. Thanks, Mike. Uh, God, next show, we're so busy. We got so many things going on. Do you, Tanya wants to know, Tanya Bishop, hey, Tanya, do you still have your 25000 tiny house? $25,000 tiny house. No. No. Um... Hi, are there any 10 by 40 container homes available? Debbie Smith. We got a million of them. Yes. We the are Detroit. in that are part of our model line, and we I love container homes. So, mm -hmm. yes, we will build you a container home, 70000 Yep, and it's called the Detroit. And it is decked out. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, look at it on our website. On a trailer. Yeah, on our I website. I had somebody call me from California. They wanted one, mm -hmm. and, I, and they were talking to me. I said, well, how are we compared? She goes, oh, my God, you guys are like... Half uh, everybody. So goes, nobody's putting them on wheels. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You know you can oh, pull that house. That. You can pull that house with a truck, with a dually. What? You can pull it. 
No, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dharma's life. My uh, cousin's daughter's name is Dharma. That remember whenever mm -hmm. we all went up to uh, American Eagle. Anyway, uh, hey Dharma. Dharma's life is the pond swimmable. I mean, I'm not getting. I in swam it. in it. Yes, it's krill. It's crystal clear. It's beautiful water. Okay. Not polluted. The only, oh. th oh, the only thing in there. The only thing. Now here it goes. But fish. Uh, okay, Linda, Linda uh, Benoit, uh, Beno, Bena, I'm not Benoit. sure. Yeah. Do you have poisonous snakes and spiders there? Everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. They're they're here, but they're they're here, but they don't want to be around they're you. Sparsely. They exactly. I, I have I have slept in the woods and trees and rolled and hiked and climbed and never nothing. Yeah. Uh, peaches high. Will you ever have a home with a tub? Because our model homes do not have a bathtub to them. Good question. I think we will in the future for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Maria Huff, my daughter lives off grid and she uses solar for her evapor evaporative cooler and generator for her AC. But I understand there is such a thing as a soft start for AC. What does that mean? Yeah. I don't know what that means. I've heard of it too. I'm not familiar with it, but I heard, look, he's trying to get on me. I don't, George, get I'm somewhere. crossing my legs. You need to light some work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Renee Cannon, would your Detroit, the Detroit, the Detroit we just talked about, yeah. the 8x40 container, be allowed on the mountain if I yes. ordered and painted a soft yes. teal green, blah, blah, blah. Yes. And white scrub, blah, I love containers on the mountain. Yes, everything. Okay. Hey, go, go. Go, go, go. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Um, we, we actually bought two containers. And we've got two container traders coming in. Yes. It came in, mm -hmm. and we're getting ready to build them. Yep. We probably want to do a shout-out to our people who are doing Airbnb on property. Yep. Okay. Lizzie Davila, Davila, I love Ace in the Mountain. Do you have an Airbnb to visit soon? Watching your videos daily, everything looks great, and want to be in want to be one in a pretty cool lot. Ah. Uh, so, we yes. do have people right. who are renting, homeowners. What do, what do they do? I guess you go to Airbnb now. If no, you, we gotta go. Can not we call the office or something? I know, but that's Come what I'm on. saying. Well, you can call the office. You can email us and ask us. We'll pass that information. There's like three of them there. I think there's like three that have a, a tiny home. But you can also go to Airbnb if you want to. How will they find them on Airbnb? Well, you put in tiny house in Newport. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. People know how to find stuff, Randy. They're not as ignorant as we are. <laughs> my God. They don't have to be led to water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, okay. That's true. Look and see the time. We can't. We. Oh my God. Can we take a break? Come back. I'm so wore out. I can't see straight. Lord. I know. I'm it. Struggling in this I mean, it's X getting over warm. here. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't you. Want, you know, they're not going to watch forever. They're probably already a two hour show. Oh my God. And I've got oh, to get back oh, to work. Some, uh, somebody asked this too. Heidi, well, Heidi Cruder. Hey, Heidi. I want to say hi to Heidi. We know Heidi. Mm -hmm. uh, can you see the river from up there on the mountain? Good question. In the winter. In the winter. You sure okay. can. Heidi has a house and everything in it. Uh, hi to her. She took it home with her. It's with her. Okay. Yeah, she took it with her. Um, that was, I was gonna, somebody asked this, and I think it was on yesterday's show, is uh, where we're at, the 34 acres, you know, the beach, the prairie, the forest, uh -huh. is it a flood zone? Because they noticed all the water yesterday. Is it a flood zone? You know what? Okay. It's considered a flood zone. It's considered that. It has never flooded. No. Do you know? No. Our elevation is the same elevation that Newport is. That's so wild. So when Katrina hit. Yes. All right. The federal government came and made the flood zone wider. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. There was a factory there and there's concrete. Our right. elevation is at 1,017 feet. Mm hmm The flood zone is 1,013 feet. Oh, so wow. really, nothing in the entire place is under 1,017. Right. But FEMA mapped our entire place they as did. a flood zone. Mm -hmm. But there's not a house. But the actual flood zone elevation is at 1,013. Wow. Okay. And I wanted to get it changed. Mm -hmm. And to get it re-engineered would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. We just can't do that. So we you know what? No. no, it's not going to flood. And if you want to come here and live, if you if we flood, I'll haul Take you out. Take a chance. I'll, I'll tow you out of there. He did not say that. No, but it's you, not going to flood. You're not going to 
haven't told nobody out in the world. No, I'm going to let him drown. Well, you do hook it up to my car that doesn't have a hitch. I'll be heading out the gate. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> you no. know what your dad would say? Diamonds in your... No, further go, the better shine. <laughs> okay, we're going to stop right there because, I mean, we that's probably a lot. i got to go to work. People are doing they need we me. We are going to get to the rest of these questions. We're going to try and incorporate them all in. I'm telling you, we are getting hundreds of questions now. On our Those are great questions, though. These are great questions, and we got more yeah. great ones. I'm so, not going to get rid of these. We're uh, going to ask these. Yeah, and tomorrow we're going to do Incredibox. I'm going to show the mm -hmm. how to do the the uh, electric, mm -hmm. the water, and the sewer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how that's how that's underneath, how you hook it up. Right. I'll also show you the solar. Yeah. Explain mm -hmm. that a little bit more, and we're going to get it on the roof. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you the roof and what it looks like, how it's made. I love Did you questions. Did about the mini split? Um. Well, I'll show them. We got the line set okay, for okay. it, but I'll show you how that's wired up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I love questions about that. Now I have a question really quick. Is the Birmingham the only one that has two air handlers? The yes. only model? Okay, not the Detroit. No. Will the Detroit have two? Okay, I just wanted to make sure about that. We, yeah. I just wanted to, it just popped my mind. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, thank you for coming to my house. Uh, it was very unexpected. This We had a, it's other stuff going on today in Morristown that we had to attend yep. to. and. Um, I did not know anybody was coming because I sure didn't clean up. So. Well, you know, I come every time. You all don't see this, but yeah, it's it's the show's always on. All right, it's off. never it's never a we're never off. And I told Amanda, I, said, I just wish a film crew could just follow they what goes on here. Up. So that's why I turned on a vid the camera on earlier. I wanted you to see <laughs> Amanda's home, how we live, how she lives, how mm -hmm. how we navigate through this life. Um, and I think when you guys see. Look, I mean, what's going on here? We are just trying to make a living. We are yeah. just, we love what we do. We love building homes. We love people and building. Um, yeah, we get stressed. Yeah, we end up hating people. We end up loving people. We're just like you. We're just like you. Know? You know, and it's like, yeah, there's people we can't stand and there's people we love and we're trying to change to yeah. love the people we can't stand. But it's being a oh, business. Oh, I know. It's hard. I'm yeah. just saying. It's and, a and you know, Pray for and nobody, me. But nobody admits that. Like, if you're in business, yeah, they don't. nobody admits, like, yeah, there are some people that just oh, darn like, hard to pull with. Everybody's wonderful. And it's like, and no, it's not it's true. Not. <laughs> it's not true. And and I used to feel so bad about it. I like, God, I just want to get along. And just some people, you can't. You just can't. Everybody I've had the guys come in yesterday, and they tr they did their darndest, and it just didn't go it over didn't well. Click, yeah. it didn't click, man. I mm -hmm. said, you know what? We've That's done the best okay. we can, guys. That's all we can so do. I said, let's just let it rest and let it go. Yeah. You know? And I and I just want to mention something too. Randy and I have known each other for 20 years, and we've got just a huge history together and stuff. But I, with coming to my house, there's a huge difference in how him and I live. I'm a very I collect a lot of things. Look, he hates things like this. Like, look, see all these? My little, oh gosh, my little bumblebee right there. Um, all of my little things like that. Randy is not a collective materials person. So, in like in my kitchen, he would have everything off the counters. And some people are like that. I'd have everything on the counters. So, there's, but, but, but I like. I like pictures on the wall, portraits. Yes. I like mm -hmm. warm feeling. I like, you know, I like personality, but it's, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. But, but, but it's good to see both ways. It's good to see it both yeah. ways because I think we have two sets of eyes that are very different sometimes, but then also very alike. You know so. what's cool about, but you come, I come here, you got the wreath there, you got plants, you got ivy growing into your bedroom. All right, the ivy's going through the windows. It went through the windows. You got all these little arts and crafts things. I you do. Got, you got a pair of my old, get down, buddy. I got, got Randy's old boots right there. Yep, my old work boots and yeah. stuff. But Always everything here has a story. It does. And so, Everything. And you know what I've learned is my folks never collected anything. We didn't really, yeah. nothing. But Amanda comes here and the kids have got things that she remembers as a kid. So when the kids come here, yeah. they feel at home. They feel at and home. And it makes it a home. It does, You know, yeah. so yeah. really... My home's really not a home home. You know, it's... it's. Now, it's a, I know what you mean. It's a place that I just lay down and live, but I haven't made it a home. I, I don't really have a home. Well, and you too, know? you know, it can be to the difference of a mom and a dad or a woman and a yeah. man. And so we like to have both both sides of it. Not one is right and one is wrong. It's not like I that I guess at if all. I had more time and it could think about it, I had portraits of the kids and stuff yeah. like that and some memorabilia and put my guns on the wall and exactly. all that kind of stuff. Well, your guns ain't going on the wall because they're here. <laughs> oh, I just get up in the morning, I splash water and I'm gone. I know. And then I come back at night and I'm in bed. Exactly. So it's just, you know, 
it's not well, time. But it also ties into, and we're going to wrap this up because I mean, this is, this is definitely Travis, the long goodbye today, right? Uh, but we want to, this ties into with the, um, the one thing I want to bring up is that we don't want you to think that the 100,000 subscribers was the only, um, something that we had going the only uh what's it called like giveaway a or giveaway or, or the only contest and contest that's what i'm trying to say people are going to be decorating the the first hundred incredible boxes are in this contest yep. that they can participate in and everybody gets to decide what their house looks like so it might look like my house how i would decorate or how randy would decorate or how you decorate ever how it's going to be it's gonna be awesome so but i don't want you to think that's the only contest either no we were just talking about it we're not going to wait till the next no. 100,000 subscribers to give a house away. There are more so stuff, there's more man. Coming. I we, love doing that stuff. we got stuff going on in our brains. Yep. And we want to just surprise you all the time mm -hmm. and just make sure that, hey, listen, don't think that you've missed out on anything. We're going to try and keep everybody stirred up all the time. Yeah, I just want to know yeah. about that extra small blouse you said. I'm, I'm telling you what, I'm struggling today. I mean, I got it, and I was like, oh, that one X, that'll be fine. Oh, no. Huh? I mean, it's like... I got to get me back to Ross. You're hot. We got to get hot. out of here. I'm hot. I'm sweating. Lord, help me. Uh, All right. Hey, All right. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. And we'll be back thank tomorrow. You. And I'll show you that incredible box and everything about those questions and, and in more and what we've been doing all week. Do I have to get on the roof? You pay a forklift. I'll lift you up and you can just walk over on the roof. Jesus. I'm gonna, I've got to get up and turn this thing off. Jesus. Bye. Here we go. Lord, Say goodbye, Amanda. Pass away for tomorrow. Say goodbye.